Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In today's video, we're gonna be working on our Red Hood Villainous Prop Shop helmet, and we're gonna be making it so it fits really well and the back plate stays on. This is a real fun and quick, easy video to show you how to make a helmet fit really well. Okay, so this particular Red Hood helmet from Villainous Prop Shop does have a back plate. That makes the fit super easy because you can get it to fit your head really, really well, then pop this back plate on. Uh, I prefer helmets that have a back plate only because, again, you can get a much better fit to them. But how do we attach this back plate. Now it really all depends on the helmet that you get. Uh, some helmets have different shapes so they're going to require a different process. So what I want to do is walk you through some of the basic steps that you can use to make sure that A, you can attach this back and that when you put the helmet on, it doesn't sort of bobble around. Yes, when you get a helmet from Villainous Prop Shop, uh, it fits really, really well. Uh, I was very, very happy with the fit, but there is going to be a little bit of play. There has to be, um, and you also want it to be super comfortable when you're wearing it, especially if it's at a con, so you are going to want to add some foam to the inside to stop that, you know, the, the little bit of rattle you have and to make it feel super comfortable. So let's go ahead behind the fake wall and get to work on making this thing fit perfectly. Okay, so the helmet fits together pretty easily. You've got that tab that sort of just goes there and then it matches up on the sides. So I decided to use elastic. I use that quite a bit. So I put a piece of elastic on the tab part and the, and the back here, and I also put it on the sides. But the problem was it didn't allow the helmet to open enough for me to get it on. So I took it off, started again. I tried magnets and I liked them, but I thought they looked too clunky. So I went ahead and bought some really tiny magnets from K&J Magnets. Look how tiny these things are. I could not believe it. If it's right in the spot, I use a plastic drill bit by hand so I don't damage the helmet to make that hole. I pop it in there. Yep, fits just fine. Now, to get it to be flush, I like to use this JB Weld. Uh, it's a epoxy putty. You mix it together. And you can put a little ball in there, and when you drop the magnet in, it has a base to stay on so you can sort of make sure that it's flush. Whereas if you used a liquid epoxy, it would just fall down into that space. This really lets you make sure it is flush with the top of the helmet, because that's really important. Now, to make sure it fits the other side right, you drop the other magnet on top. I like to use a Sharpie, and this way I put a lot of sort of ink on there and I then put the two together and give it a little bit of a rub and what happens is that Sharpie will come off on the other side and let me know where I need to do it. So I just drilled some holes, used the epoxy and popped the magnets in both sides. And as you can see, it really worked well. They snapped together just fine. I was super happy. So for the foam, I just went ahead and used this standard upholstery foam. I believe I got it at Walmart. I cut out the shapes that would fit. This stuff is really cheap and made sure everything sort of went where it was. I tried it on a few times to make sure that it wasn't too thick. And then I cut out a little pattern with a, some paper towels and cut out some one millimeter foam because the thicker stuff was just too thick. I couldn't get the helmet on, but the one millimeter worked really fine. I then put it all on with contact cement. You could use anything you want, hot glue. How contact cement works is you put some on the one surface, some on the back of the other surface, let them dry, and when they go on, they go on for good. And that's why I used it. I then had to just trim a little bit away because my measurements weren't quite right, and there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this helmet on. So remember, we've got our magnets on both sides and a piece of elastic in the top to sort of work it like a hinge. And the foam on the inside. So we can just lift it up like this, slide it right on, and again, I knew it was going to because I had tested it out with the foam before I glued it all in. Fits really, really well. The magnets snapped in. I'm getting no wobble. I can move my head around. And as you can see, the magnets just sort of, if I pull away, they just snap back into place and I'm not getting any movement and it looks really, really cool. And then it just comes off super easy and Again, really, really happy with the, the look of the helmet, the fit of the helmet, fantastic. So yes, it did take a couple different tries for me to figure out how I was gonna mount the back to this helmet, but in the end, I am super, super happy with the solution I came up with. Magnets and that little piece of elastic totally did the trick. You might come up with a different solution. If you do, uh, 
you know, I'd love to hear what you decide and what you went ahead and used. Now, if you want to see the next video, what we're going to be doing is putting LED lenses in this so that when you flip a little switch, the lights just light up in the eyes. They look super, super cool. I can't wait to show you that. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, thanks a lot, and take it easy.